Here, Nebraska Medicine's Trauma Center will see close to 900 patients due to falls, and a number of those could have actually been prevented with just the proper precautions. And Jenna James joins us now with how to avoid those dangers. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, David Streets. After you hit the age of 65, the chances of you falling go up drastically. Now, I spoke with a Nebraska Medicine trauma surgeon. She gave me these smart strategies to try to prevent those falls. So first, you're going to want to check on your medications. Sometimes those can make you drowsy or lightheaded. You also can put in more lighting, such as night lights or even just a little extra few things here and there. You can also exercise regularly. That not only helps your strength, but your balance as well. You also will want to get your vision and hearing checked regularly. It's going to help you recognize any dangers that may be in front of you. Now, in the bathroom, it's also probably a good idea to put in those sticky mats or even some of those handrails around the tubs and the toilets. That way you can make sure you won't fall in those areas. And then finally, you want to declutter your home. Get stuff off the floor, push those chairs in, and remove those hazards. And so it's very important to kind of do a safety check of your home. Remove any clutter. Um, don't use throw rugs or make sure that they're using double-sided tape to tape them down. Now the most common injury that they see is actually a hip fracture, but she's also seen more serious injuries up to things like brain bleeds and it can even lead to death. Now Dr. Summers has a variety of other ways that you can prevent these falls. She wrote a blog. I posted that at WOWT.com if you want to take a look. But first coming up in the next half hour, I'll show you what one local man is doing to try to make sure his father never has a scare like he had a few months ago. Reporting live, Jenna Janes, WWT 6 News.